Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm gonna ask you a question. If you answer my question in the comments below, you'll be entered into a draw to win a Banish kit. Don't big your skin, big Banish. We are a pretty health conscious society and as we grow and develop as a community, we develop new technologies and these pose new challenges for us. And one of the challenges that we're going to be talking about today is how pollution affects our skin. There's always been pollution. Humans and animals, we generate types of pollution. But the pollution we're going to be talking about today are the industrial type pollutions, the agricultural pollutions, things like chimney smoke, car exhaust. All of these things can lead to airborne particles. They're called particulate matter. And these airborne particles give a vehicle to things like persistent free radicals in the environment. And we know from other blog posts and videos that free radicals wreak havoc on your skin. They attack the skin and they're just damaging overall to our health. If you live in a big city or cities where pollution is a really big problem, this is going to be especially important for you. Although don't think that by living rurally or in a really isolated place that you're necessarily free from the harm of pollution because these are called persistent free radicals, which means they don't just go into the air and then disappear. They carry for miles and miles and they can live in the atmosphere for a very long time. The science behind skincare, pollution, products is still really new, really fresh in our minds and so there aren't a lot of products out there to choose from that are specifically pollution oriented. However, there are a couple of things we do know just about pollution in general and how it affects our skin and how it causes that damage. And so that kind of informs the way we can take in trying to protect our skin from these harmful free radicals, these harmful particles in the air. Number one, cleansing the skin regularly. Super, super important. Both for a variety of skin issues and just for a variety of reasons. Not only does cleansing get rid of the skin's sebum, dead skin cells, dirt, bacteria, anything that's built up during the day, but cleansing will also get rid of those airborne particles and the free radicals with them. If we don't wash our face at least every single night, we're just giving all of that stuff a chance to sit on our face, all night long, rub up against our pillowcase and then put our face on it again the next night. And we just give it plenty of time to get into our pores to do the damage we don't want them to do. All you really need to do is use a gentle pH balanced cleanser morning and night. If you have to just at night, that should be fine. But a gentle pH cleanser will get rid of all of that gunk off your face and it shouldn't leave your skin feeling tight or dry. Number two is antioxidants. We talk a lot about antioxidants and that's because they are fantastic. They do a lot of work. One of the more important functions of antioxidants is antioxidation, anti-free radicals. So it protects our skin from that free radical damage. Antioxidants, in my opinion, should be in everybody's skincare routine. Preferably as a serum. Banish has a fantastic vitamin C serum that gives a prime example of something you can add easily into your routine after cleansing, after toning, before moisturizing, a nice serum that will just give your skin that protection it needs. I think personally it's important to try and use antioxidants in your routine every single day, whether it's a serum, a moisturizer, or anything really that acts as an antioxidant, you should try and use it every day. The third thing you're going to want to do to protect your skin from pollution is just protect your skin in general. And by this I really mean use ingredients that enhance your skin's protective abilities, that enhance your skin's ability to repair itself. And so these are all, you know, found mostly in a moisturizer. Sometimes they're also found in treated products. Unfortunately, many of us who use acne medications like benzoyl peroxide or retinoids, they're notorious for, you know, causing damage to the skin's barrier. And this is what I'm talking about when I mean we need to protect our skin's barrier because our barrier is what keeps the inside world out and keeps everything else functioning well. So when we use products like benzoyl peroxide that can cause some minor damage to our skin, it's super even more important that we follow up with those antioxidants, that we use moisturizers 
that are going to protect our skin. Too many people either forego moisturizers altogether or they use moisturizers that still contain a lot of harmful, irritating ingredients like alcohol in them. And so they just end up stripping the skin down and not really promoting its healthfulness. And so studies have shown that uh, sebum and sebum-like qualities, so things like moisturizers that have occlusives, which act as a film or a protective film over your skin, those types of things can actually protect our skin from pollution. Thankfully, most moisturizers on the market these days contain all the ingredients you need, occlusives, the humectants, the emollients, all of the things you need for healthy skin. So you just have to find the right moisturizer for you. But again, this is why it's so important not to forego moisturizers, even though you may have oily skin and think you don't need one. Moisturizers act as more than just a moisturizer in some cases. They do act as kind of secondary sebum on our face to protect our faces. Last but certainly not least is sun protection. Sunscreen is important because we don't necessarily always think of the sun's rays as a pollution, but it, it kind of is, it, it does pollute our environment in a way and pollutes our skin. So while the UV damage and the damage induced by pollution act the same way on the skin, they are obviously different. There are differences between them, even though they have technically the same effect. So this is why it's so important not to skip sunscreen in your routine. You just have to find the right sunscreen for you. For a lot of acne prone individuals, they prefer a, a mineral sunscreen, something with zinc in it, something with titanium in it. And these sunscreens also act, could potentially act anyways, as a secondary film on top of the moisturizer. So further protection from those harmful free radicals, that way they can't get into our pores. Now, if you're thinking, you know, maybe there's a new product out there that I could try that could just do all this for me and I don't have to worry about all these things in my routine. I could just pick one product and be done with it. And maybe, I mean, maybe they work. They probably very logically, if they've done their homework, act on the same principles that I've outlined here. Having a gentle but effective cleanser, using antioxidants, using a sunscreen, and just using a good moisturizer that's going to protect your skin and, you know, foster its abilities. But again, the science is still so new, I feel like it's almost better to err on the side of caution to save your money and buy the products that we know work. You know, you know we need a moisturizer, so pick one that will protect your skin. You know you need some antioxidants, so pick one that will protect your skin. There may be more products that you need to add if you go this route, but I think you're better off this way because I think these are the staples in a good skincare routine anyway. Technically, most of you are probably doing some of these things already if you've been watching our videos, and so I think that you're probably well on your way to having skin that's protected from pollution. At the end of the day, you can't really protect your skin 100%, so don't stress out too much about it. Like I said, you're probably already doing many of the things you need to do. Maybe you just need to add in an antioxidant. Maybe you just need to add in a sunscreen. But whatever it is, you're probably doing most of the brunt work already. So don't stress out about it too much. You're doing great. And if you have any questions, leave them below. I have an interesting question for you that I would be interested in knowing the answer is, what are you most concerned about with damaging your skin? Are you more concerned with the sun damaging your skin? Or are you more concerned with pollution damaging your skin? I think in my city, the pollution's probably not at such a dangerous rate that I would consider it a major concern. I would definitely consider the sun a bigger concern for me, even though I don't really get a lot of sun here either. Hmm, that's a tricky question. Leave me your answers below what you think is more of a concern for you, pollution or sun damage? Because if you answer, you get entered into a draw to win a banish kit, and you definitely want a banish kit, so you should probably answer below. Thanks for watching, until next time. There's a hole.